Hello, today we're going to learn how to make dahlias, a beautiful flower which really livens up any room. For making dahlias, you require crepe paper, green, any flower color that you like, and yellow, glue. A thick wire, a thin wire, scissors, floral tape and uh, pliers. Cut out the templates as according to the instructions. All the measurements given are in centimeters. This is for a petal. You have to cut 13 petals. Then this is for uh, sepal A and you have to cut one piece. This is for sepal B, you have to again cut one piece. Mm -hmm. Then you have to cut two stamens, stamen 1 and stamen 2. So stamen 1 you have to cut one piece and stamen 2 you have to again cut one piece. The templates will look like this. And this is how your petals, your sepals and your stamen strips will look like. Now you take the wider strip that we have cut for the stamen and fold it in half. Press the paper and then crimp the folded edge. And this is how it looks after you have done the crimping. Then now you apply glue on the base. And we will roll this around, take a thick wire and roll the stamen round it. And this is how it will look after we stuck it on the wire. Now take a thin wire and tie it tightly around the base. And this is how it will look with the wire around it and then you twist the end of the wire. Now you take the stamen, uh, the other strip, stamen B and you cut out thin strips on one side of it about one and a half centimeter long like this, very thin strips. And this is how it will look, the strip after you cut them all. Now you take the base stamen and apply glue on it, a little glue on one side. And then apply glue on the stamen strip that we have just cut. Apply glue properly. And now we put this round the stamen, the first stamen with the edge sticking up a bit. Start like this. The edge should be slightly above the other base. And then you wind it round it. And this is how it will look after we have stuck it all around the base. Now you just crumple up the, uh, the thin strips a bit. Open some and close some so that they look a bit crushed and open like this. Now you take the petal and uh, first you fold the petal in half with the wrong side outside. Fold it tightly, press it with your nails so that you get a crease like this. You put two more folds like this and another on this side. So you have three creases on a petal like this. Now you cup the petal like this uh, slightly at an angle with one thumb pushing inside and the other thumb pushing outside so you get a curvature like this and similarly you give one crimp, only one crimp here on one side and a bigger crimp on the top of the petal like this so that it 
crimps up like this and then you give another fold like this on the other side so you have a petal like this and so you do the same thing for the all the petals this is how i have done all the petals now you take two thin wires and twist one end of them about a centimeter from the edge twist it tightly like this hold it on the other side and then take a petal keep it between the wires like this and push it towards the twisted end and then twist the other side give two twists so that it holds the petal like this now similarly we do with the all the petals and this is how it will look after you put all the petals together now you have to put one petal in front and the second one at the back third in front both at the back fifth in front and like that after you position all the petals in the alternate manner you wind the petals round the stamen wind it tightly like that and the extra wire also to hold the petals in place and this is how it will look after you tied down the flower now you take the sepal the wider sepal and apply glue at its base and then apply some more glue on the wire around the petals now stick the petal the sepals on the petals with just the cut part of the sepals on the petals the rest of it should come down like this this is how i it will look after we stuck the sepals on the flower now we take the green floral tape take a strip out of it stretch it then put some glue on the base of the sepals and wind the floral tape all round the sepals and the wire also this is how it will look you have to wind the tape till the end of the wire now you take the plier and holding the flower end is bended because the dahlia is never straight the flower is always at an angle so you hold it and you bend it like this now you take the other sepals and twist these by cupping them a bit like this in different directions this is how it will look now you put the glue on the wrong side of the sepals and stick these on the base of the fire uh, the flower with the sepals pointing in the opposite direction and this is how the petals will look you can open them up a bit and then open out the flower rolls just push down the petals and position them a bit now you are your flower is all ready